These are the shadows of the mess you made, you bitch. All my life I've been falling, but this time, my God, I'm falling forward. With her, whose name will not pass my lips, it was like the love within me was finite, and the sum total had spilled out like blood from a gunshot victim and jeeled in the pavement beneath her feet. All of life a series of games, games I lost, and here I stood on the wrong side of 2017, emotionally bankrupt. She left my heart a wasteland. No longer hungry for your love. No more mumbling your name above the lovemaking heard through the chimney. No more struggling for composure and posturing and weeping in bathrooms. No longer underweight nor thirsty nor anything above yawning at the mention of your name or the memory of your face. Not kindling nor a match within me no longer. No more secret sinner nor blind winner. No more a soul in winter staggering among the minefields of so many earlier happy times. Whoever said all is fair in love and war, motherfucker knew what they were talking about. Not so much because there aren't rules. There are. It's just that everybody goes about breaking them. As I sit here in my parents' backyard and smoke cigarettes, where I've relocated to their basement in a two-bedroom duplex in Butler Tarkington, having been banished from a bungalow in Broad Ripple, which I shared with the bitch, aspiring to be a great bright blossom in the universe, where she bounced on the boners of Bobby Dingleberry and Mr. Baklava, I would better myself. And still I plucked flowers petal by petal and even sifted through the petals to see if I'd miscounted and learned a thousand times over she loves me not. And were you to number the stars, they would not equal the love I had for her nor the hate that consumes me now. She was every bit sacred to me. She was imbued with all the holiness of the Madonna, and so beautiful in my mind trees would uproot themselves to follow in her wake, and inanimate things would take life from the music of her voice and the gaze of her Buster Keaton eyes, and everything she told me, the pacts we had made, came to nothing, and I peer baffled into my empty hands. Since I've been giving her up, though, life has become stale. I've been taken to watching dust motes for hours in my basement. I've been smoking way too many cigarettes. I, I, I can't distinguish a, the taste of a peach from an English muffin. I've been smoking more cigarettes. My dreams became elusive and colorless. And yes, I'm living at my parents, but sometimes a cocoon is necessary if you really want to become a butterfly. And yes, every time I look at the clock at 11.11, I think of her, but God damn it, it's a start, right? And the path is made by walking, right? So every day I do something that scares the living shit out of me. And today, I'm learning to ride a bike. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said that the true measure of man is how they pit themselves up, etc., etc. So get out your measuring tape. All of life being some kind of balancing act on a, a tightrope, perhaps. Always look forward. Never, ever look back.
Thank you.